नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता अकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम क्लास सेवन के ज्योग्राफी में लेसन नंबर सेवन सॉइल इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं सो so फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसको कैसे आंसर बाहर कर सकते हैं यह है लेसन नंबर सेवन सॉइल उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कम्प्लीट द फॉलोइंग टेबल फैक्टर्स एंड प्रोसेस रोल इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सॉइल फर्स्ट पेरेंट रॉक डिटरमाइंस द टाइप ऑफ सॉइल विथ इट्स वेदरिंग और लीचिंग सेकेंड रीजनल क्लाइमेट डिटरमाइंस द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ वेदरिंग और लीचिंग ऑफ पेरेंट रॉक थर्ड ऑर्गेनिक मटेरियल मेंटेन्स द पी एच वैल्यू ऑफ सॉइल फोर्थ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म हेल्प डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ डेड रिमेन्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मटेरियल एंड सो द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ ह्यूमस कंटेंट इन सॉइल नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वाई डू द फॉलोइंग अकर फर्स्ट टू द वेस्ट ऑफ सयाद्रीज लेटराइट सॉइल्स आर फॉर्म फ्रॉम बेसाल्ट रॉक The answer is first. It runs heavily to the west of Sayadris. That is in Kokan region. Second, the climate to the west of Sayadris is humid. Third, heavy rainfall and humidity leads to leaching of basalt rock on a large scale. This process gives rise to laterite soil. Thus, to the west of Sayadris, laterite soil are formed from basalt rock. Now, next, second. Humus content in the soil increases. The answer is first. The regular use of organic manure, vermicompost, compost help in maintaining the pH balance in the soil. Second, a large number of microorganisms exist in the soil with high pH. Third, microorganisms decompose the dead remains of the plants and animals and other organic materials. The biotic materials thus produced is called humus. Thus, by regular use of organic manure, humus content in the soil increases. Now, next third soil formation process is faster in the equatorial climate. The answer is first. High temperature and high rainfall are the main features of equatorial climate. Second, the temperature of equatorial region is around 27 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius throughout the year. Third, the mean annual rainfall in equatorial region is around. 2500 mm to 3000 mm it rains throughout the year in this region fourth in the region of high temperature and high rainfall the process of soil formation is faster thus due to high temperature and high rainfall soil formation process is faster in the equatorial climate now next fourth the salinity of the soil increases the answer is first irrigation facilities are utilized for producing greater amount of crops second but excessive irrigation draws the sludge from the soil upwards and make the soil saline and then unproductive thus due to excessive irrigation the salinity of the soil increases now next fifth rice is the staple diet of the people from kokan the answer is first hot and humid climate high rainfall and alluvial soil from kokan are favorable for the cultivation of rice therefore rice is a grown on a large scale in kokan second the local agricultural produce determines the staple diet of the people therefore rice is the staple diet of the people from kokan now next sixth soil erosion the answer is first a top layer of soil gets removed due to heavy rains and running water of rivers second the soil gets eroded due to high velocity of winds and steep slope the soil erosion occurs due to running water winds and slope now next seventh soil degradation the answer is first to obtain higher agricultural yield chemical fertilizers insecticides weedicides and irrigation technique is used second however the excessive spraying of chemical fertilizers leads to soil degradation in such condition the proportion of humus in soil decreases and the ph value of soil get disturbed third excessive irrigation draws the salt from the soil upward and makes the soil saline and then unproductive the soil erosion occurs due to chemicals chemical fertilizers and excessive irrigation now next question question number 3 give information on first measures of soil conservation the answer is measures of soil conservation are as follows first tree plantation tree plantation is one of the most important measures or soil conservation 
Planting trees control the velocity of the wind. This help in reducing the erosion of soil by winds. The plant roots hold the soil firm and this also reduce the erosion of soil. Second, constructing continuous counter trenches CCTs. Soil is conserved by constructing continuous counter trench CCTs along the slope. Construction of CCTs at different heights. Check the velocity of water running along the slopes and thus reduces soil erosion. The water arrested in CCTs percolates into the ground. This further help in increasing the level of groundwater. Third, watershed development program. The government of Maharashtra has implemented the watershed or catchment areas development program under which constructing embankment along slopes in rural areas, introducing CCTs along steep slopes, etc. Our activities are undertaken. This led to the success of the scheme. Arrest water let it percolate. This has resulted in raising the ground water levels and reducing the erosion of soil. Fourth, Jal Yukt Sewer. The government of Maharashtra has recently launched the scheme called Jal Yukt Sewer. Under this scheme, work like constructions of farm burns, arresting water of small streams, connecting the streams, etc., are being carried out on a large scale. Now, next, second, organic manures. The answer is first. Vermicompost, compost, etc. are the organic manures. Second, a large number of earthworms, ant and many other microorganisms are found if organic measures are used for farming. Third, the microorganisms help the decomposition of the dead remains of the plants and animals. This increases the proportion of humus in the soil and the soil becomes fertile. Fourth, thus, the conserving soil the use of organic manures is highly essential. Now next, third, place where you will get the information about the suitability of a soil for a particular crop. The answer is first, the information about the suitability of a soil for a particular crop can be obtained from the Department of Agriculture, Government of Maharashtra, Soil Testing Laboratories, at state level and agricultural universities. Second, the types of soil, the fertility of soil, the proportion of humus in soil, etc. are tested in soil testing laboratories at state levels. Third, on the basis of the analysis of the soil, the information about its suitability for a particular crop is given to the farmers. Now next, fourth, importance of soils for plant growth. The answer is first, Plants is an important component of the living things on the earth. Second, for the production and growth of plants, soil is indispensable. Third, the favorable climate, availability of abundant water and sunlight are necessary for the growth of a plant. These alone are not sufficient. Fertile soils equally favor plant growth. Fourth, the importance of soil for plant growth can be explained with the help of the following points. First. Fertile soil and vegetation. Fertile soil provides a great amount of micronutrients to the crops. Therefore, vegetation is abundant in the regions that have fertile soil. For example, vegetation in equatorial region. B. Infertile soil of vegetation. Less amount of micronutrients are present in infertile soil. Therefore, vegetation is scanty in infertile soil. For example, vegetation in hot desert region. Third, shortage of soil and vegetation. Where there is a shortage of soil, vegetation is not seen. For example, absence of vegetation in the polar areas. Now, next question. Question number four. Complete the following table with reference to soil. Action, effect, results. Constructions of embankment. Reduction in erosion of soil due to heavy rains. Increase in fertility. Planting trees. Wind speed decreases, increase in fertility. Farmland is kept fallow for some period of time. Fertility of soil gets maintained, increase in fertility. Use of organic manures, humus content increased, increase in fertility. Trenches are dug across a slope, check over the velocity of water running along the slopes and hence reducing in soil erosion. Increase in fertility. Litter is burnt in the farm, the proportion of ash in soil gets increased decrease in fertility use of organic manures provide favorable for microorganisms increase in fertility excessive irrigation soil content in the soil increases decrease in fertility 
केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर यूज एक्सेसिवली डिक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम एंड सो द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ ह्यूमस इन सॉइल डिक्रीज इन फर्टिलिटी सो फ्रेंड्स आज हमारा यहाँ पे लेसन नंबर सेवन का एक्सरसाइज कम्प्लीट हुआ फ्रेंड्स आप लोगों का ये वीडियो कैसा लगा आप लोग कमेंट बॉक्स में जरूर लिख करके बताइए इस वीडियो को ज्यादा से ज्यादा लाइक कीजिए अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए ताकि उनको भी क्वेश्चन आंसर मिल सके और इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए नमस्कार दोस्तों